All right, here we are in round two of the Wingspan Open. Our opponent is Grubenstein, a very strong player. We are going second, and it doesn't look like there's anything too terrible in the tray. So there's not a whole lot of advantage for Groove to go first. Looks like we're going to have a Grasslands focused first half. And then cards in hand for the third round of Total Birds actually works out really well for both players in the fourth round because that's kind of the objective, right? To play a bunch of birds. So we'll see how that pans out for us. All right, what do we got? Kind of a mixed bag. I wonder if Groove doesn't grab that golden eye to try to capitalize on any type of grasslands actions I attempt to take here in the first half. Canvas back is my card drawing bird. I could go with the Galanule. It's more expensive by 50%. But it gets me a few more points. Bonus cards, cup nests, and fish eating birds. So canvas back lines up with a wildlife gardener. We have two fish eating birds in the tray. Flycatcher is good for the grasslands. It's a good bomb. It's expensive. What does the bird feeder look like? One worm. So we could grab the worm and then play the flycatcher. Lay eggs, get the worm off the flycatcher, play the canvas bag. And we have a strong foundation of eggs, food, and cards, but we are handing out a lot of food and cards to our opponent. That's pretty scary. Groove would be able to capitalize on that pretty effectively, I think. Our other card drawing option is basically the same thing. Hand out cards to all players. The star nest works in our favor for the round two bonus. Galenuel does have the platform nest. that golden eye is there, I might want to grab it for myself. The star nest will synergize with that, be a second wetland body. Capitalize on any egg laying our opponent does. This is not an amazing start, but it's not a terrible start either. Would really like to have a good forest bird here, but I think we're kind of at the mercy of this uh, cooperative power handing out cards to all players. So I think that's what we're going to go with. I'm looking at this Galenule and does the extra food cost warrant the extra three points? I think getting up and running in the early game is going to be more important. Canvas back does synergize better with our wildlife gardener, so I think I'm going to go with that. So he didn't take anything from the tray. He took a fish. Double fish. Not sure how to feel about that. He didn't want any of these birds in the tray. I think he really wanted to secure that fish. You would think he would, if he wanted the golden eye, he would have taken the golden eye first. The bittern, seven points, lines up with the wrong two goal. Still not a great power. I think I'm going to grab the golden eye here and then I will gain the worm for the flycatcher. Cardinal flips up. It's kind of a scary prospect. I wonder if he grabs that. But what did he keep? Got a worm and a wheat and two fish. 
He left the Cardinal. Black-throated Diver. That makes sense. I'm going to take the Cardinal here. So that... He's digging for cards. And that... But he didn't take the Cardinal. So that implies that he already has a force solution. He's going to wipe the tray here. So I need a good forest bird. I'm going to take that Cardinal. And I've got to stop drawing single cards here. Cardinal will help get the cherry for our flycatcher. We could pick up the worm. We could play the Cardinal, grab the worm and the cherry, play the flycatcher. We'll have to gain another wheat in order to play our canvas back. So play Grasshopper Sparrow. That's his bird in the grasslands. Let's throw it on our Cardinal. I don't think he's going to gain food here. I think he's going to lay eggs and then draw cards and discard an egg. In order to draw an extra card, he's going to wipe this tray clean. There's the eggs. So let's get our cherry and our... Nope. We'll get the cherry off the cardinal. Let's get our worm for the flycatcher and our cherry for the flycatcher. Wish we had viticulturalist here. We are 75% of the way to wildlife gardener though, so that worked out pretty well. So he drew cards. Cast and Sphinch is good, but I'm not... I don't think I'm going to go... I'm not going to draw a single card for it, that's for sure. But I think I'm actually going to gain a Wheat and a Cherry here for the canvas back. And that'll give him the opportunity to reroll the Bird Feeder, but he's only going to be able to get one food off it if he takes that route. He's got one worm right now. Hopefully that's not killed here. So let's take... No, take the wheat and get the cherry off the cardinal. I keep thinking in my head gaining two food and gaining a second die out of the bird feeder. That's why I was thinking about leaving the reroll to him, but I'm actually getting the food off the cardinal. So there's Pyville Greed. So he's really trying... So I'm going to assume he doesn't have kill deer now. But he's really... I've employed this tactic before, just this overwhelming card draw in the wetlands like this. I've used, you know, Dipper, Diver, and Grebe, Ruddy Duck, or whatever, to really generate some massive card advantage. So that will kind of theoretically lessen the impact of our canvas back, handing extra cards to him, but that's still never really a great thing to do. So let's play our Flycatcher. This kind of really shows, too, that he's, like, he really needs, unless he could have Fishery Manager. That would explain that, but he's going to be seeing so many cards, I have to imagine he's going to find a, just good cards in general. But he is crippled for food production right now, so hopefully he doesn't find a crow or something to stack in that grasslands. He's going to need to take at least one inefficient gain food action here. I'm not going to hand out a worm with the flycatcher. So he took those two cards out of the tray. Not sure I mind that. Ooh, Purple Martin comes up, European Robin. I gotta take the Martin here. I gotta take the Martin here. European Goldfinch comes up right after it, so he's gonna take the Goldfinch. But it's gonna take him a while to get that on the board. I could overpay for the Martin and win the round goal. But I don't think I'm going to do that. So he did take the goldfinch. It's going to take him a while to get that on the board. 
wonder if he takes the European Robin. Nope. Forster's turn. I can't keep drawing these single cards. Got one activation left. I could first down this Martin and win the round goal, and that's four extra. Oh, I don't have any eggs. So I'm just going to play my canvas back as planned. Let's go Petray is kind to us. Downy Woodpecker? No, Petray is not kind to us. So what are we going to do here? He took European Goldfinch. He's got to get the food for it. So let's gain food ourselves. We're going to get a cherry. Let's take a rat. Ah, this bird feeder sucks. I think I'm going to draw cards here so I have an extra card to dump to the forest. Oh, mute swan. Let's draw that extra card. Scaled quail. Well, I think we definitely dropped that baby in the wetlands. And then maybe put this purple Martin in front of it. And then just start creating some card advantage of our own. So that worked out well there that he gained food because now we can flip the bird feeder. I'm going to discard the scaled quail. We need a wheat and a worm. And we didn't get our worm. There's a wheat. We could pick up a fish for the golden eye. We can actually lay eggs here. Get a worm off the flycatcher. Then we'll have the food and the egg we need to play the Mute Swan. So we dropped Benelli's. There's his platform nest. So all those excess cards he had. So he pulled back on points there. Definitely not what you want to see, but it's, it kind of just evens it up a little bit. We have our platform nest in the canvas back. So he wants to discard cards for extra food. He has a rat there. Wonder if that means Raven. Sure hope not. So I'm not going to spend the e the food for the extra egg because I think we're going to need that toward the golden eye. So we'll be friendly and hand out the food because we can make really good use of it here on our next two our next turn dropping the mute salon. And honestly, I might just do it again to get my next two eggs and the worm for the purple martin. It might actually be worth it to try to get this golden eye down sooner rather than later. So we gained food, we picked up the two cherries, probably going to overpay for the goldfinch here. He's really going to like that goldfinch once he sees this. So there is a raven. So I need to get this golden eye down. I have the fish. I need a worm and a wheat. Alright. I think I'm going to do this. He's going to win the round goal. Eggs and platform nests. It's a late round two rave and it can still make a huge impact. Let me think about this. I could flip the bird feeder. I'm not discarding cards here. I need... Two food. I need a worm and a wheat to come up and then to be able to draw it. 
and that requires me to discard a card. So I think if I lay eggs and get a worm off the flycatcher, I just need a wheat to come up and I can reroll the bird feeder here and hope for the single wheat. So I think that's what I'm going to do. He's about to be a little food rich here, so I don't know, I don't necessarily like handing him the food, but I've got to try to take shortcuts here to maximize my ability to curb this emergent grassland engine. So now he's just going to be drawing a ton of cards, laying eggs, getting food off the raven, and dropping bombs. eggs. Now he's going for the goldfinch. Do I tuck cards here to get ahead of his goldfinch? So I need to flip this bird feeder. Get the wheat. Pick up the cherry. There's rough. I hate to see that. I feel like my game has been really slow here. Too slow. I need to get this Martin down and then just start drawing a ton of cards. Could just lay eggs again and hand out that extra food. Lay on the canvas back to work toward the round goal. He's going to win the round goal, tuck three cards under the rough. This isn't looking good. This is looking rough. He just got better cards off this massive card draw very early on. So now he gets another tucking bird his massive card draw or a free card off the canvas back on the dick sizzle. He could grab little bustard for bonus card bird. Greenhorn Owl is a bomb. So he took dick sizzle for the engine. Took the owl as a bomb. Black woodpecker, Moltonis. Goldfinch is coming up here. Man, this is hard. I think I lost. Keep my head in the game here, though. I need to get this Martin down and then just lay as many cards as I can, or draw as many cards as I can. But. You know, Benelli, Raven, Ruff. He's gonna have Dick Sissel here. He's got his Goldfinch coming down. At least we're shaving an egg off his engine with the Golden Eye, but I gotta spin these eggs off the canvas bag to get one activation off the Golden Eye before the canvas bag is full. I'm gonna pay two eggs to play the Martin. So that gives us a little breathing room there. Goldfinch, nope. Oh, woodpecker, goldfinch. So that extra food we're giving him is helping him there. Yeah, this isn't looking good. Anyway, I was just too slow in getting this up and going, or maybe not necessarily too slow, but just. Just the cards he got. I mean, this goldfinch doesn't help me one bit. Passive card draw, card cycling off the rough, point scoring, grasshopper sparrow to back up the raven. I mean, that's just the way it is. Well, now we got more egg space for our golden eye. Lay the 
his eggs. He's got more food coming. None of that helps. We need another cup nest. Black turn could be it. But that's a bad card to drop into the last column. Here, good bomb. Let's handle the card. Yeah, we're just we're just hard cornered here. The rough, the raven, the goldfinch. It's just gonna be hard to overcome that. Dick Sissel, as expected. Bird that could actually save us. Could repeat our mute swan. Let's tuck that. Tuck that. Tuck that. I need a worm. this card. I'm going to hand out a card and then I'm going to hand out a worm. To play this Mockingbird is a zero point play. I'm going to draw three. I think I'm just going to discard my eggs because I can convert them into points through tucks on the Mute Swan. Hand out the card. Even at this point in the game, though, it's seven activations left. He's still got more cards in hand. Collar Dove, he'll keep spending eggs off the Raven to get food to beef up the Dove. So basically everything has just gone perfectly for him all game. Right side is he can't drop Eastern Imperial Eagle here. I just don't think this Mute Swan engine had enough turns to counteract everything he's doing. He's just gonna he's gonna have five points here on the dove. He's gonna tuck three under the rough. He's shaving a point off our engine every time we tuck. He's making his egg back up. He can discard food for an egg. He's got all kinds of point scoring options at his disposal here. And we just keep up the mass tucking game.
it's probably a bad idea to keep handing him cards like that, but like I said, at least he can't drop Eastern Imperial here. He's got four rats. Here comes the Great Horned Owl. He's gonna have his cards to tuck under the roof in the Dick Sissel. I guess every time I feed him a card, that's two points, but... Yeah. He's filling up on eggs here, so... It's coming up against his nest capacity. And Grasshopper Sparrow is losing its juice. That raven's gonna lose its juice here after he gets one more food. So his last... He's gonna drop that owl and he's only gonna have one food left. He's gonna fill up on eggs, so... We might actually produce a lot more efficiency here in the last the closing turns of the game compared to him. And that's gonna be our only chance to win this. So if he burns those rats, he's not going to have all the points for the dove. So he did lay eggs here. Picking up fish. I hope he doesn't have puffin as well. That would just be insult to injury. Hooded Crow. I'm one food short. But... Just spending an activation to play that just doesn't do anything. Alright, Goshawk. So let's see... Three... Three, I get one back. I'll have three tuck, then I'll have three to tuck here on their swan. So I'll skip this. So he's up against his nest limit, his egg limit, with two activations left in the round. He's gonna drop that owl. He's gonna clear up two more eggs. Two, three, four. So his last activation. One, two, three, four. He'll lay, drop another card on the Dick Sissel. So he'll be okay on eggs. Let's see here. I don't have to spend this egg in order to make my cards up. So we did plan it out correctly with our canvas bag, handing out those cards like we did. Uh, allowed us to end our tucking efficiency right on the money there. Did I? Yeah, I did. I maxed out with the Mockingbird, so that helps out there. I'm not really sure that we pulled it off. He's going to have a lot of eggs, a lot of bird points. He's got one bonus card, so that's good. Gonna have plenty of tucks, plenty of eggs, plenty of bird points. Won all the round calls. So it's just not looking good. I don't think our tucks were able to bring it home. He just got too many good cards too early. And our Mute Swan engine was too slow to get up and running to compete against it. All right, he'll have way more bird points. Should be fairly even on bonus cards. He had a couple more there. He dominated on the round goals. Dominated on eggs. He had uh, quite a few tucks, but I'm not sure we're gonna be able to close the gap. He had too many tucks, 126 to 92. Broke 90, respectable score. But, like I said, we just you just got too many good cards too early in the game, and our Mute Swan wasn't able to combat against that fast enough. So, that's the way it goes in Wingspan sometimes. Good game to groove. On to game two.